hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel in this video we will guide you through the process of resolving microsoft error code caa 50021 number of retry attempts exceeds expectations uh, are you encountering the frustrating microsoft error code caa 50021 indicating that a number of retry attempts exceeds expectation Without wasting the time, the first method to solve this problem is uh, re-register the device with uh, Azure AD. This fix uh, involves uh, re-registration the device with uh, Azure AD to ensure proper connection. It includes uh, steps such as using the command prompt to leave the Azure AD, detecting specific uh, entries uh, from the uh, certificate store, and uh, checking the Azure AD joint status. For this, just press window button with R to open box and then here type CMD, CMD and just hit the enter button and here you have to type D-S-E-G-C-M-D and then our space bar and then slash after that type N E A V E then I hit the enter button when you hit the enter button uh, delete the MS organization access and uh, MS organization uh, P2P access entry uh, from the certificate store type uh, uh, D S R E G M D and then space of and after that a uh, slash and then status in the command prompt and hit enter button to check the status of uh, azure ad join a second method to uh, overcome from the problem is a temporarily uh, disable antivirus the error may be caused uh, by a third party antivirus software or a window defender firewall temporarily uh, disable the antivirus to see if the error code is bypassed to temporarily uh, disable antivirus software on Windows 10, you can follow these steps. When using antivirus software, uh, right click uh, the antivirus program icon in the system tray. Then uh, choose the option to disable or uh, exit the program temporarily. If you want to enable it again later, you can restart your computer. Second, uh, using Windows Security. Uh, open the Windows Start uh, menu and uh, type Windows Security. Uh, as you can see, when I type uh, Windows Security, here uh, the option of uh, Home, and when I click on this, and the screen of uh, this comes, and you have to uh, click on Virus and uh, Create Protection. And when I click on here, uh, then you have to uh, Click on uh, virus and threat protection setting in uh, manage settings. Uh, you just uh, simply you have to turn uh, off uh, real time protection. And when you turn off, uh, it will ask uh, you a question and you have to press the yes button. After that, uh, uh, the third method to solve this uh, problem is uh, link your device to the work or uh, school account. You can fix the error by linking your device to a work or a school account. This can be done through the device setting. To link your device to a work or a school account, you can follow these steps. First, you have to open the setting. And when after opening the setting, just you have to click on accounts. After clicking on accounts, then access uh, uh, then you have to click on uh, access work or school uh, then here is if uh, your uh, school or work id is here you can click on them if uh, you don't have id here then click on this uh, plus button and uh, you can uh, just uh, you have to uh, sign up and add your uh, work or uh, school id here uh, Sign in with your work or uh, school credentials. Uh, follow the on-screen promotes to finish uh, connecting. When completes, your uh, account will be added as a connection. Fourth method to solve this uh, problem is uh, uh, clear catches credentials. 
if you are using windows you can clear a catch is credentials by follow these steps just press window button with the r and open the run box uh, type controller uh, key kimon and dot del as a and run i you have to in those a window that open and select the credentials related to microsoft server service causing the error and remove them from here you can remove and remove the credentials or to solve your problem fifth step to overcome from the problem is run this command command you can try running the discrimed and then space after that we press the new command to leave the device from azure ad this can be only done by following these steps press a window button with r and type cmd again till that press enter and type on d s r e d c m d then uh, hit space button after that a slash and uh, right leave when you enter uh, you will uh, your this uh, will uh, join the device from uh, azure ad six method to overcome from the problem is uh, update microsoft application to ensure that you are using the latest version of the microsoft application check for updates and install any available update for the application to update microsoft applications you can follow these steps first using microsoft store now open the microsoft store by clicking on the windows start menu and selecting microsoft store uh, here is my start menu and when i click on the start button um, my microsoft uh, store has op uh, click on the microsoft op store and uh, it will open it may take a few seconds uh, click on your account photo in the right corner and uh, select setting uh, and select setting make sure app uh, updates is uh, turned on uh, if an update is available it will uh, start installing automatically set uh, second day using uh, office applications open an office application such as word uh, and uh, then click on files and select account or uh, office account if you open uh, outlook uh, under uh, product information select uh, uh, update option and then uh, update now if you uh, do not see the update now option uh, click enable updates first and uh, close the you are up to date window after the office is uh, done checking for and uh, installing updates third method is uh, using uh, automatic updates you can turn on aut automatic updates in the microsoft store app by clicking on your account photo in the top right corner and uh, selecting setting make sure app updates is turned on seventh method uh, to overcome from the problem is uh, contact your it admin if uh, above all the steps do not work uh, then you have to uh, contact microsoft uh, and 3c365 uh, first method to reach them is via microsoft 365 admin center and you can move to their um, site uh, through this link uh, which is provided in this article and the link of this article is provided in the uh, description when you uh, click here you will uh, move to their website first you have to uh, sign in here but uh, remember one thing you only have to uh, sign in with your uh, work or uh, school account because your uh, personal account will uh, not work uh, here uh, on the uh, bottom right side of the page select uh, help and support type a question or a keyword into the text box to access online support 
you can also start a service request online by closing support and new service request second method to reach them is call support if you're encountering any problem uh, with online request uh, phone support is available at the provided number uh, here is the link of the um, numbers and when you click on the link just uh, you have to do that uh, select your uh, country and uh, here is the my country and uh, i can choose uh, this number to contact them in this uh, way you can uh, reach them so that's uh, all for the and that's all for the today and let's meet in the next video uh, thanks for watching this video